right, we are up in Canada on our yearly fishing trip, although it's been three years since we've been up here. And we have caught, kept, cleaned, and ate a lot of fish while we've been up here. So before five years ago, I never bled out a fish. Until I learned that process, I've been bleeding out every fish that I catch, whether it's a walleye, a northern, crappie, or bluegill. You'll see the difference in the meat, you'll have a different experience with the cleaning process, and the fish tastes that much better. So today we kept our limit of six walleyes. We bled out five of them and left one without to show you the difference. So we're gonna head out to the boat, we're gonna show you how to bleed out a fish, and we're gonna come back in here and show you the difference. All right, we got our live well full of walleye. So when you cut these things, bring them back, keep the water fresh. Once you cut them, put everything back in the live well. These things are feisty, so this should be fun. Some guys will throw them in the net and hold them there. And this is where we want to cut them, right underneath the gill plate. Kitchen shears work nice. Snip, good. And let's go through the rest of them here. This guy's a lucky one though. We're not gonna clip him and we're gonna get back into the fish house and show you the difference between a bled out fish and one that's not bled out. You can see the water gets a little bit messy. So at this point, we're gonna turn on circulate and pull the plug, get some of that water to drain out as we make our last little way back into camp. Then we'll head back to the fish house. All right, we've got them all bled out now, except for the one unlucky one. Just drain the water out. After you bleed them, pull the plug, circulate it. We're up on shore now, so obviously my live well hasn't drained out all the way. Should smell good later. But usually this thing will be completely empty once you pull your boat out. Get the live one. Still. Kicking. Good to see you in a minute, bro. So into the net. So we've gone ahead and cleaned the first walleye and you can see just how clean that meat is. I'm bringing them home like this because that's how you gotta do it to get across the border. A couple cheeks with it and not an ounce of blood on the cutting board. It is a very easy process to do it in the boat. So now we'll go ahead and clean the one that we didn't bleed out and we'll show you the difference between the flays and the cutting board. Right, it's pretty easy to see the difference here. The first thing I'll say is actually, it's a lot easier to clean a blood out fish because you can actually see what you're doing when you're not dealing with all the blood. You see the difference in the white meat and the pink meat, not to mention kind of the loose blood in there. And I guarantee you, you can wash this and soak it as much as you possibly ever could. It's never gonna look like that. I guarantee you that is gonna taste better. And also, look at your cutting board from what it was before. And that was a small fish. You clean a 21, 22 inch fish, 
By the time you're done cleaning five or six of them, this thing is going to be a bloody mess. So you can see the difference even after you wash the fillets. Washing the fillets of a bled out fish is 10 times easier than washing a fillet of an unbled fish. So if somebody that you know says they don't like fish because it tastes fishy, do this process before you prepare the meal for them and you just might change their mind. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe because we are giving you tips like this all the time to make wild game and fish taste better. See you next time.